Okay, so Friday afternoon chat number 12. So today is the 10th of March, 2017. So we've had another busy week. Had uh, loaded up a video during the week on the Bianchi, so we had lots of comments and views on that, which has been, uh, been really interesting. So you could clearly see there was a big difference between the older style, uh, old style bike in the Bianchi versus the newer style in the Trek, uh, Imonda. So one of the questions uh, that was raised about uh, the Bianchi was, oh, it's an older bike, but um, actually when it came to me, it came to me years ago, so that's been sitting around the workshop for a long time, for probably since uh, 2011 or 12 or something like that. So, so although it's an eight-year-old bike, when it came to me, it was probably only a three-year-old bike. So, yeah, it, and it, it had uh, it had a whole bunch of little little issues going on. So some of these uh, the wrinkles uh, had actually presented themselves as crack indications, and yeah, so it ended up being scrapped. It was sort of beyond repair. So, I know a lot of guys have been asking about uh, about that. Uh, oh, you know, what caused the you know, what, what led that bike to be scrapped and then cut up. So uh, I'll try and add that into, into the, next, uh, the next video as well. So I have got uh, a little, I mean, lots of demand for like a time or a Colnago. So I've got a time which is already cut up. So I'll video that when I get a chance. And, um, and I've also got a Colnago uh, C50, which I haven't cut up yet. So there's plenty of bikes to be cut up, don't worry about that. It's just a matter of finding the time to do it and getting it done. So the, uh, the other thing I've, I've been thinking about is doing a, uh, a YouTube live sort of thing. Um, yeah, it seems to be all the rage. So you, know, you could jump on and ask me questions in that you know, over a window, the time window. So I don't know what time zone or, or what, I'd do something like that yet, but you know, we can work that sort of stuff out. So, so you can uh, have, be put, you put the comments in the, um, yeah, put the comments down below on, on you know, what, what you'd like to, to do about that. The, um, the title of this video is what ultrasound set should I buy? And I get that question all the time. You know, people think, oh, I can just buy an ultrasound set and Away, I can, I can, I can do this stuff. Let me just say first up, it's a bit like a surgeon or a want to be surgeon asking, "What scalpel should I buy? I want to be a surgeon, or I want to be a professional bike racer. What bike should I ride?" It doesn't work like that. It's all about experience and and knowing what you're doing with with the equipment. So it's very much a, a hands-on. You need to understand what the signal is doing to really know what the, the damage or, you know, if there is damage or no damage or, or what. And then there's calibration references and a whole bunch of things that, that, that you need. So it's not a simple thing of, oh, I can just buy an ultrasound set and away I go. I'm, I'm an expert on this stuff now. So, uh, yeah, I've had, I've, I've had a number of people saying, Oh, I don't have any experience with this, but it's really cool. Uh, you know, how do I, how do I get into it? So, it's um, it, it takes takes a lot of time uh, to to get to get it right. So I've been doing this. You know, I started in 1991, uh, scanning scanning parts for what is now now Boeing uh, Boeing Australia. So, and and eight hours a day. You know, five, six days a week, I was just scanning parts and, you know, doing that took about a year to get certified. So, um, yeah, so it's not a simple thing of just going, oh, I'll buy a set and away we go. So, you know, I just thought I'd make that, make that one clear. What else? Uh, we've got a long weekend in, in Victoria this weekend. So we've got the Monday off and um, so we'll be, we'll be closed. And uh, an extra day of riding. Hopefully, I can I can get out uh, three days uh, over these next uh, next three days. Yeah, so you know, get out normal on the 
on the Saturday, uh, Sunday, and then also the Monday. So looking forward to that. The weather's supposed to be not so good on the Sunday, but then on the Monday it's supposed to be getting better. Um, also, those who know uh, Mitch Anderson, he's going for uh, a 12-hour world record uh, here in Melbourne, down in St Kilda. So you can drop down and see him and donate to the uh, to the to the charity that he's he's representing. So that's that's a great thing. So go, Mitch. You know he's l looking at getting sort of 500 k's in 12 hours, which is uh, Pretty big, uh, pretty big effort. So uh, yeah, wish him all the best for that. And uh, yeah, people say I, I, I've been saying I'm an R too much, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better at that. It's pretty hard. Like as I said, uh, I don't script these things. These are just like I just come into frame and start talking about this stuff. So uh, <laughs> uh, I. I I need to get better at that. So as I say, practice makes perfect. I'll keep working on it. In the meantime, uh, that's it for this week. I hope you uh, are enjoying the, the videos. Keep an eye out on Instagram as well. Any comments down below and uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.